What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Konosuba. It's it's twitching up there. That is uh, a bit creepy. I'm gonna ask you not to do that. And as per usual, a uh, battle arena just ended, so we've got a brand new one to talk about. We'll make this pretty quick because these have kind of become part of the course, but we do have a couple things to discuss here. First things first, as you guys probably are already aware. You kind of know how to take these on at this point. But let's jump in and talk about this, okay? Uh, our new boss over here, uh, Bumblebee. Tell me it ain't. It's like it's like, it's like like if G1 uh, Optimus Prime and, like, I don't know, the Bay Bumblebee had some kind of terrifying offspring. Uh, beware of lightning magic attacks and powerful super attacks. So... Defense is paramount on this one. Paramount. Enemies are relatively weak to bind and magic attacks. Magic once again. So, let's build a team. And actually, I've got a pretty good team over here. I'm going to go into a training session. And uh, per usual, since it is magic, I'm going to stick with Christmas Wiz and the uh, collab uh, Megamine. They seem to do really well in these events until further notice that it's who I'm going to stick with. Now, I've done a couple of training sessions, and actually I might have to change it up a bit. We'll see how this goes. But I'm going to do an auto run real quick. Now, but before I do that, let's talk about the uh, uh, units I've chosen for both the front line and the back line. So my front three, obviously Christmas Wiz, uh, and I've got Megamine up there. And we're going to continue using Megamine's skill one. Uh, her skill two actually might not be bad here. But the big thing is I want to make sure that she gets an essay off before everybody else because we really want those other buffs to apply the other units incoming. But I am using... Oop, let's go back out here. I am using this uh, Bunny Girl Cecily. I think Bunny Girl Cecily is a really good unit. Uh, I got really lucky. I pulled quite a few of her. Um, we don't have her maxed in the base attack. But I got lucky with my draws, and her primary attack actually is the one that maxed. And her heals, it's still at 3 out of 5. So I got really, really, really lucky on this. So that is super nice. Plus, she's an earth element. She's magic. I do not have Cecily's uh, custom weapon here. But I think she's going to do quite well on this team, nevertheless. Also, since we are using earth units, I am using this uh, Rin. Okay? I'm sorry, this Amy. My goodness, I know I'm going to get eaten alive for that one in the comments. Uh, this Amy uh, is also a healer, so we're running double healers. Now, there's a bit of a reason for this, and I'll talk about it when we get into the fight. But the main thing you want to know about uh, about the reason I'm running these front uh, two frontline units, number one, we're going to take a ton of damage, so we need a lot of healing. Number two, Cecily's uh, secondary essay gives us a significant boost to magic and physical attack now once again we're not doing any physical attacks we're just doing magic attacks but the boost to magic will be really nice uh and of course you know we already know what christmas Wiz does but just to kind of cover it one more time uh significant damage to uh, reduction to magic defenses and agility so we have a magic attack booster and a magic defense and agility for uh, for that matter uh debuff so very nice, and of course, Megamine is going to basically uh, turn into a glass cannon with her essay. She does one big hit, and then pieces out. So, in comes Amy, who I called her in earlier. And Amy is a healer, as is uh, Cecily. So, basically, from that turn on, every attack is an Earth Element attack. Every, maybe like third or fourth turn, is heal. Now, I did throw Amelia on here just because I didn't have any other magic uh, earth units. And she's another healer. She's a really good healer. She's a good magic attacker. She's got SA boosting. She's got a few things out here. So Amelia will be a good backup unit. But I kind of feel like Amy will be a better unit overall for the mainstay. Now, the big difference being here, Amy's attack. I do not have her secondary attack. Uh, her secondary attack... Removes all allies' debuffs, and I don't think that's going to be necessary here. So, uh, superior recovery for all allies, and significant boost to magic attack for all allies. We don't really need the recovery right out of the gate. 
I would rather have uh, Cecily's attack, which is a big attack with a booster. So, the goal here is to have Megamine gone, Amy come in, Cecily and Amy pretty much just keep spam healing each other. Uh, Wiz will not partake in the healing, but she heals herself, so we're going to be good there. Hopefully, we should never need Amelia, but let's jump in here and see what happens. Um, now, the main thing is here, I want to make sure that uh, Megamine is the one who is going to take out our opponent. And that's going to be super duper important. Now, Wiz did get that first hit off, so we want to get some AoE hits here. Uh, that is going to be mega super important to, uh, uh, to getting these attacks out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and skip with her. I'm going to do the uh, uh, SA gauge boosting. We're going to skip with her again, and we're going to do this. And that's going to give her the kill. That's nice. We've got a heal phase coming up, but we won't need that. So what I'm going to do is base level attack. Okay. And another base level attack. And another base level attack. And then we'll do the SA with Megamine. She's all boosted up from herself. Uh, I could have gotten Wiz's uh, SA off beforehand. Gotten that nice debuff out. Probably gotten a little bit more damage. But from this point on, I think we're pretty much in good hands. So... Wiz and Cecily are going to do their essays. Uh, it would be kind of preferred for uh, Cecily to do hers first, so that is, it is, it is what it is. Uh, there is some benefit to maybe getting uh, Wiz to do hers and then Megamine to do hers, but the faster we get rid of Megamine, the more damage we're going to produce. So I went with what I went with on that one. Now, from this point on, like I said, I'm just going to auto-attack. The downside is Amy and Cecily are going to do a lot of healing, so we're negating some of our damage there. But you notice that dude hits like a truck. Bumblebee over here is an absolute murderer. So in regards to this fight, we are absolutely going to need a lot of healing, and I mean a ton of healing. It's going to be super important. Okay, we've got another SA off that's going to bolster everybody. And I do want to mention it. I don't know if it's actually true. It feels like this one takes a little bit less, or uh, say takes a little bit less time, but gives you a little bit of a reduced um, time limit. I guess I should say. Maybe maybe I'm wrong on that, but it feels like this is a short fight. So I don't know. Um, but let's see what we got here. Actually, no, we're sitting at thirty. Or we're sitting at, sitting at five seconds. So yeah, it feels like a short fight. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just my perception, but it feels shorter than the rest of the fights that we've had. So, fortunately, Amelia did come in, but it's so far to the end of the game, it doesn't really matter. And that is the end of the game. So, 132 is the best that I've gotten thus far. And I'm really curious if one of the other general teams that we've run before would do any better. But I'm going to be honest, I feel like just because of the limit of the match, and I don't know, but I'm going to try a few things out. We're going to test things, some things out, come back and do some team building. But for now, know that it is Earth Element. It is magic. Approach this as you would see fit. But that, for me now, is going to be time to call it. Like, comment, share, guys. I'm going to build a better team, and I'll be back uh, to talk about it here in the next 24, 48 hours.